Animal experiments are not only unethical and morally objectionable, but scientifically unreliable too. Humans and animals are fundamentally different in their physiologies, such that data obtained from animal experiments cannot be applied to humans. Simply speaking, a human being is not a 70 kilogram mouse. Innovative research methods based on cells of human origin rather than animal experiments are scientifically sound and provide human relevant data. Tissues, organs and ultimately all living things are made up of cells. Each organ consists of specialized cells that enable the specific function of the organ. For example, a nerve cell has long extensions for signal transfer, whereas an intestinal cell has small finger-like projections to maximize the surface area for nutrient absorption. Each organ harbors its own stem cells that continuously produce new specialized cells to replace the dead cells. This is how an organ is continuously renewed throughout its lifetime. This self-renewing potential of an organ driven by its stem cells has been used to successfully grow tiny mini-organs in the lab using, for instance, tissue biopsies obtained from either gut or liver surgery from human donors. These mini-organs grown in the lab are known as organoids. Isolated stem cells are embedded in a gel-like matrix and cultured on a Petri dish. Organoids can be grown from these stem cells by using a culture medium containing nutrients and other supplements that mimic the blood supply. Under these laboratory conditions, the stem cells retain their ability to produce specialized cells of the original source organ. Within a few days, three-dimensional tiny organoids are formed, such as a mini gut or a mini liver, only half a millimeter in length, so small that they are invisible to the naked eye. As the organoids can in turn produce their own new stem cells, they can be multiplied in the lab. They can even be preserved by freezing and reactivated later when needed. This is important for high throughput screenings and for repeating experiments with identical organoids originating from the same individual source. Biobanking enables the storage of frozen organoids derived from different healthy donors and patients. They can then be used anytime in the future for different analyses. Scientists all over the world are already using human organoids for different studies, such as the investigation of biological processes inside cells, the molecular bases of diseases, therapeutic approaches or the toxicity of compounds. In contrast to animal studies, data obtained from such experiments are reliable and relevant to humans. It's not always easy to obtain human tissue biopsies, and for some organs it's next to impossible. However, there is an alternative approach which is to generate many organs and is non-invasive to the donor. Every cell in the human body can be converted into a stem cell in the laboratory. These stem cells are known as induced pluripotent stem cell, IPSC. IPSCs possess the ability to produce any kind of specialized cells so that any type of mini organ can be generated from them. Specific nutrient supplements in the growth media determine which organoid develops from them. For instance, a hair follicle cell from a human donor can be transformed into an IPSC which can in turn produce the donor's personalized mini organs such as a kidney, liver, or gut. One of the major goals of this approach is to correct genetic disorders in the organoids and then transplant them back into the patient. Tumor organoids generated from cancer patients are used to screen and identify the most effective drug, which is then used to treat the patient. This approach is called personalized medicine. It's often believed that to answer some scientific questions, the interplay between different organs has to be taken into consideration and that this can only be achieved by animal experiments. This is, however, not true as research on human mini-organs gives better solutions.
The so-called multi-organ chip system acts by mimicking the human body and the interplay between different organs. Several different mini-organs are cultured in little plastic wells on a biochip. They are then connected via a microfluidic system that simulates the bloodstream and delivers nutrients to the organoids and hence enables inter-organ communication. Drugs can be introduced in this way to every organ on the chip via the microfluidic system and its effect on the organ or how it metabolizes is studied. Samples can be taken from the microfluidic system and analyzed, very similar to a routine blood test. As of now, up to 10 organs can be integrated on a single multi-organ chip, skin, heart, liver, gut, kidney, lung, etc. By generating organoids from a particular patient, a diseased body can be emulated on a chip. Therapeutic approaches can be developed and then tested. Such organoids and multi-organ chips are innovative, valid and advanced model systems to study human biology and diseases instead of animals that are artificially made sick. This is how medical science progresses without animal experiments.